know how to build their muscle mass effectively. That is right, Weeby. One person who is well known for his muscular build is Ade Rai, who had competed in amateur bodybuilding championships such as Sea Games and Asian Games. He is also a three-time world natural bodybuilding champion and a successful businessman. And here he is widely considered to be the father of Indonesian bodybuilding. And today, we are so lucky to have him with us here to share about his bodybuilding experience. So, good afternoon, Bli Adirai. How are you doing? Hello. Thank you very much for having me. Salam sejahtera buat kita semua. It is a pleasure, Bli, for having you on our show. Well, first of all, have you yeah, ever tried likewise. any other sports <laughs> than um, working out at the gym during the pandemic? <laughs> During the pandemic, I used to be a badminton player, so sometimes I play badminton. Wow, <laughs> that's I just knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So do yeah, you still play uh, badminton? Seven, seven years old until 17 years old, I was a badminton player. I was at the same club with uh, Ardi Beviranata. Mm. Yeah, mm. but the difference is uh, he became a successful athlete uh, and become a failure. <laughs> but you are successful as well in your field, which is bodybuilding and became a proud of the nation, right? Right. Uh, but right now, everyone knows that you. Um, you are one of the best and popular bodybuilders here in Indonesia. So what inspires you to be involved in this industry? Is it because of the failure in the badminton world? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it has nothing to do with that. It's just okay. like my passion. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I was really drawn into uh, arm wrestling uh, oh, activities. I so yeah. I got introduced to Owen. Uh, when it comes to arm wrestling, you need to be strong on that, on that table. So hmm. uh, I got introduced to weight training, but uh, one lead to another, and then suddenly I become a bodybuilder. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful, but uh, I always believe that uh, 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 bodybuilding is my passion. So, thing to do with, uh, I have that intention, but but I don't have like 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 a long time goal when I started. Like I want to become a world champion or whatever. I don't have that, but it's just 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 I just love what what I'm doing. That's it. Yeah. Wow, nothing better than loving your hobby, mm -hmm. which makes it your job as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I hope you are. So, uh, uh, Liade, can, can you tell us? A lot of people, of course, want to uh, build their bodies, build their muscles. Can you tell us what's the one most important thing uh, to start in building your muscle? <laughs> Okay, I think uh, it has something to do with the the you need to pay attention on what you are doing, and then also you need uh, to pay attention on what you are moving. Mm. So I think uh, number one is of course uh, when it comes to nutrients, I think uh, our tendency to consume more on carbohydrate and fats. Mm. But I think it's nice when it comes to muscle building, you are focusing on the protein because usually people. Uh, when it comes to the that that macros, we always lacking of protein rather than lacking of fats or carbohydrate. And then the second one is, uh, of course, uh, the most underrated, <laughs> underappreciated uh, sports in the world is uh, racing. So I think it's kind of nice if if we do that also. Wow. Yeah. Especially when it comes in. The, the 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 parameter of muscle building is the load itself so i think it's kind of nice if you you are focusing on the load rather than just it's not uh, how much you uh, you lift it's not how long you lift it's not how many reps you lift but it is is more on like uh, how much stress that 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 uh, that that you are you are focusing on the muscle that you are targeting right. yeah I okay. think uh, resistant training is, is the answer, yes. Mm, okay, so uh, Bli Ade, uh, I myself has started, I think, um, working out since when I was in senior high school, so it means 14 or 15 years ago, and I'm a gym enthusiast oh, yeah, nice. um, as well. Yeah, yeah, and okay, what nice. I can really yeah. learn about this activity is about discipline and consistency. But then people <laughs> may ask me, Rory, how long will it take for me to have a muscle body according to you how long will it take for one to have muscled body 
<laughs> okay, actually it's not is is not how long the the question, but it's more on like uh, how much effort that you put into it, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But of course, if I have to to find a, like a ballpark answer, maybe um, maybe six to twelve weeks, you see the result a little bit if you pay attention on what you are eating and then you do the weight training and and you pay attention on the resting part also yeah i think maybe th- three months i think you, you you will see you will see uh, uh the, the the progress yeah mm-hmm. right three months with consistency and paying attention to what you yeah mm. all right now let's yeah, talk five about days a week maybe one session maybe 40 to 60 minutes yeah cool mm-hmm. yeah all right now let's talk about uh supplements are there any specific yeah. uh supplement requirements for muscle building or maybe a special <laughs> diet. I mean, today we're talking about whey yeah. protein. Yeah. What's your view on <laughs> on that? Maybe whey protein shake. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I appreciate the technology. I pre- appreciate uh, uh, the existence of uh, supplementation. I think mm-hmm. it's kind of nice. Yeah, it gives you conveniency. But at the same time, also when you look at the name. Uh, supplement means means like uh, additional, mm-hmm. but the most important uh, part is the the solid food, the, the whole food is 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 the main food. Uh, natural food is is, I think it's important thing. <laughs> yeah, but of course, I mean, uh, with the with with the technology and everything, I mean nowadays, uh, when you look at the supplement industry, is is really growing. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, other, uh, good quality supplements are, are are being produced so i i appreciate that of course yeah hmm. but but uh if people asking me i mean i i kind of uh, grew up with a uh, uh, old school approach <laughs> so i just <laughs> eat uh, from natural foods <laughs> right yeah. right so sticking yeah, to yeah. the sticking to the natural foods there liade <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but of course, I mean, like when we are talking about whey protein, I think it's it's nice if you can uh, consume that, especially after training. It's, mm. uh, there's a terminology called anabolic window opportunity, so it's kind of nice if you, after training, uh, right. there's some momentum that you can take advantage of. Yeah, okay. yeah. and uh, whey protein played that role. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, Bliade. Many people who wants to start, uh, you know, bodybuilding, they want to see instant result they want to see it really quickly <laughs> so from your experience which muscle is easiest to build which one is the hardest <laughs> mm, that's interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah actually there is no such thing as the the easiest or the hardest ah, but there you go. most but but uh, but every individual sometimes they have their own preference most of us of course we are focusing on the upper body mm. that's why they call it like chest and arms is the show muscle mm. <laughs> because most of most of us are we are more focusing on 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 that part mm. but the 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 hardest part they said is the the lower body which is the, the legs the the challenging part with, with the legs when we are working that part is we cannot really show show that that uh that that part off <laughs> oh, right. uh, it's always covered by our you know like like you cannot show it to to the people but at the same time i mean uh legs is the largest uh uh muscle body part in in our body <laughs> so it's it's kind of nice if we are focusing on the fundamental we are focusing on the foundation right. so i think uh, uh can be <laughs> Maybe legs is the, uh, the maybe for some people, but if you if you realize that 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 legs is the biggest, uh, the that's where the uh, loss of muscle uh, that David. I mean, it's, it's kind of nice if we are just focusing on the legs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, leg and I, arms and chest is the most popular. Yes, and I do agree with that because many people, including me, hate leg day. It's <laughs> one of the toughest, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, right. Bli Ade, um, when I was still drinking years ago, um, you know, some of my friends told me that, hey, Rory, there's no use of you to go to the gym if the previous night you went drinking. Is that correct? <laughs> if people love alcoholic beverages and they do, um, you know, working out, would that be pointless? 
<laughs> Actually, it has nothing to do with the gym. I mean, uh, uh, when people have a chance to go to the gyms and then working out, of course, they will get the benefit out of that that activities, yeah. But uh, I think that the pointless one is the the drinking. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. So uh, uh, the problem with the alcohol, with the too much alcohol is uh, uh, later on we can get the uh, is the most popular uh, disease is uh, alcoholic fatty liver disease. That's the problem. Mm. So. I think it's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, of course, you can drink once, once in a in a while. It's fine, but if it's too much, you put too much uh, stress on your liver. So, so, so it's not a nice thing to do. All right, uh, Bliade. Usually, after a workout, uh, workout, we often feel sore, right? The soreness mean uh, that the workout <laughs> is successful. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> Yeah, not necessary. <laughs> okay. There's a good, good, good kind of pain. <laughs> There's a bad kind of pain. <laughs> right. So I mean, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, um, if uh, we are focusing on, uh, let's say, for example, we have a weak points, yeah, like mm -hmm. we have a weak part, yeah, but we never pay attention on 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 that part, and suddenly we think that okay, we are focusing on that one. Let's say, for example, our calves, for example, yeah, our calves. Sometimes we don't pay attention on a small muscle. Uh, but uh, in the beginning, when we when we train our calves for the first time, you feel lots of uh, uh, I mean, like like that that good kind of pain, you know. So yeah. I mean, it's uh, and then you feel like oh, the that kind of exercise is is effective. For you. Usually, I mean, it has nothing to do with that. I mean, yeah. uh, it's not about domes. It's not about. Uh, 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 needs to be, mm. you need to feel something, it's not necessary like that. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right, mm. Liadia, last question from me. Uh, when we exercise, yeah, yeah. many of us feel really pumped when we feel, when we listen to upbeat music or yeah. every people have their own kind of music. So <laughs> can you tell us how much that affects maybe your bodybuilding and can you let us in on maybe what's your favorite music when you work out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the the big young, I think is 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 um, oh, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> we we are getting mature also. In the beginning, of course, you like heavy metal, you like right, pop music. Nice. <laughs> but now, probably, I'm getting older. Suddenly, I like more like slow music. Uh, uh, company me when I work out. <laughs> so maybe that gets softer, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Lee Ade, for yeah, your time and your insights. Thank you. We're learning a lot from yeah, this, so uh, good luck uh, with uh, with what, what you, all your yeah. missions in bringing up you yeah, know, likewise. healthy Indonesia. Thank you so much. Thank you.